Hi there, Kira here with another 12 by 12 to Traveler's Notebook video. Um, today is our fourth layout that we're doing. So this is the fourth sketch. I'll leave it up in that corner so you can kind of see how I build off that sketch while I work. Um, so this is a series that I'm doing with Tracy Reed. I'll link her video below so you can see how she takes on this sketch challenge. And what we're doing in this challenge, if you haven't seen our previous videos, is we are taking a sketch that is made for a 12 by 12 layout and we are altering it to fit a uh, traveler's notebook spread. So today I'm scrapping a picture of a flower, which I've never done before. <laughs> usually scrap pictures of people um, but I took this picture while we were out on our Sunday walk we go on a walk every Sunday um, down along the San Antonio River and it's really pretty like it's it's one of my favorite parts of San Antonio since we've been here and um, there's you know you can see all these turtles in the water and fish and um, you know, there's birds everywhere and it's really green and lush and it's almost kind of got like that rainforest feel to it along the walk. And there was just these really pretty flowers along the river. And so I snapped a picture of them because they were beautiful and magenta and I just thought they were really pretty. So I took a picture and um, I do journal on this um, page, but you that will be off camera and you will not see any journaling because um, this is in my it's in my weight loss traveler's notebook so it's a little um, bit more personal than I'd like to share with everyone <laughs> anyways back to the layout um, so this sketch is a citrus twist sketch if you join our Facebook group create craft repeat community I will post this sketch over there so you can feel free to use this sketch as well and you can use it for a 12 by 12 layout or you can use it for a traveler's notebook spread, you know, whatever. But I just thought I'd link that sketch over there so you could use it too. So what I did is I started with a piece of paper and it's just, um, I think that's from the Bloom collection, the Hello paper. And um, I cut it down and so one side's going to be have a little bit more paper than the other side um, because I wanted to be able to put the tags on the left hand side. Um, so I've got little tags sticking out and I believe those are from the Chasing Dreams collection. And then on um, where the title is supposed to be on the sketch it's like a title and then there's a tag underneath the title but I kind of switched that so there's the tags up top but I do put my title which is love your journey it's that little circular piece that I put up there and that will serve as my title for this page um, but I just put that on top of the tag and then I'm going to do my journaling underneath that on that lined paper with a little heart and then I fussy cut out this rose from uh, chasing dreams paper and it's the last one I have <laughs> so I cut it in half so I could use it on both sides of my layout um, I thought about using washi and this tends to be a trend with me with washies I will be like oh yeah I'm totally gonna use washi this time I don't use washi enough I actually just de-stashed the majority of my washi tape because I wasn't using it and I have now I have just a bowl that sits on my desk that has washi so I'm like I'm gonna use it more totally gonna use it and then I end up like using a little bit on my layout and I'm like okay yeah great I used it and then two seconds later I'll be like oh yeah I hate that and I'll take it off <laughs> so that's what happens here is the washi is there for a second and then I end up taking it all off <laughs> so that won't stay um, so now I'm just working on adhering all of the layers down and I always work outside of my traveler's notebook and then adhere everything in so I kind of treat it as a um, just like a layout like a 12 by 12 layout and then I just slice it in half you know just cut it right down the middle and then adhere it into my traveler's notebook spread so that's all I'm doing right now I don't know why I'm off camera so much <laughs> So that's 
pretty much how everything is going to look, except for that washi is going to be gone. Then I took off the washi from the bottom, and then I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll put it in another spot, kind of fuss with it, move it around. Nope, don't like it. Take the washi off. Don't like it at all. Um, so now I'm going to place this down as my title. And um, I, this is just a little piece of ephemera I got from a pen pal. And then I have these little flat flares. So my friend Becky, who I talk about in a lot of my videos, she makes flares. She sells them on her Etsy shop. She gives a lot to her pen pals. Me being one of her pen pals is lucky enough to receive a lot of her flares. And so I asked her if she would be able to make some flat flares, which is, they're basically um, just circular like you know punched uh circles with different pictures and stuff on them um but she made me some so I could use them in my traveler's notebooks because you can't get very dimensional in your traveler's notebooks but I do love the look of flair so um she made these especially for me for my traveler's notebook spreads so she did a couple like Texas ones like I heart Texas and that little one that has the heart in the middle of the state of Texas um a couple like breakfast taco ones because we get breakfast tacos quite a bit um and yeah she just did a whole bunch of them for me and I'm so grateful to have crafty friends that can create amazing things for me so yeah those are from her and I really love the look of those so I could put a couple of them on there since my title was a circular element I wanted to put a few more circular elements on the page um, so this is about the time that I'm like oh yeah I hate this washi tape right here and I take it off but of course it's like already left its like sticky residue all over my photo so I take my little like adhesive eraser thing and kind of do that a little bit and I mean that worked a little bit but not much um, but then I just decided you know what I'm just gonna put this little Sunday wood veneer up here and call it good because the sketch calls for a date um, up in that corner and um, you know I probably could have looked up which date this was but I know it's Sunday <laughs> that's when we go on our walks um, and this little wood veneer I actually got from color cast designs and it was a um, like grab bag she does every once in a while she'll do like a dollar fifty grab bags and I just happened to be placing an order for something else that day and I was like yeah I'll get one see see how it is and there's actually a ton of stuff in the grab bags so, so next time she has a grab bag sale I'm buying more than one because that was just silly to just buy one so anyways the Sunday wood veneer came in that pack and so I just used it as like the date part of um, this pack or this uh, sketch and um, I knew I had like little um, heart enamel shapes so I thought it'd be cute to put one of those where that heart was on the Texas and also bring in some yellow because there are yellow um, on those the flower I fussy cut there's yellow on those so I wanted to bring more yellow into the layout and it's looking like it's almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that into my traveler's notebook. And once I adhere it in, I'm going to add some splatters because the sketch does call for some splatters. So I do some pink splatters and some yellow splatters with my Heidi Swap Color Shine. And that will finish off my layout. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you go and check out Tracy's channel and see how she did with this sketch. And then go ahead and check out our Facebook group, Create Craft Repeat Community, and you can play along with the sketch as well. Um, you guys have a great day, and I will see you next week for another 12 by 12 to Traveler's Notebook video. Have a good day. Bye.